Hello, all right, finally I'm getting to this video. We're gonna be talking about energy cords. I did not take time to research about this. I just thought I would tune in and uh, explore kind of what comes through, okay? So a lot of people talk to me about absorbing other people's energy. Um, you don't have to be an empath to absorb other people's energy. This is more just about being aware um, of the fact that anybody can absorb energy. And so we have uh, an energy field outside of us, okay? So when we're feeling uncomfortable when somebody is next to us or if somebody squeezes your butt or something like that, um, if it's a stranger, it might feel uncomfortable on, um, I don't know, if you're on a sidewalk and someone's like too close to you. Or again, if somebody... Uh, places their, their hand on your body and they make you feel uncomfortable, right? So this is something external of us. And so I do have a video talking about boundaries. You might want to check that out. Um, I believe I have a blog uh, as well talking about this. Um, don't quote me on that, whether I kept it on or, or I didn't. But you can read a little bit more about some of this stuff and of course scroll through my other videos. So we talk about, you know, boundaries that we need, like energetically, but also physically. And then we also have our needs as well. So, you know, if um, if somebody's not respecting what we want, for example, it could also be, um, again, related to, to energy cords. For some reason, that's coming up. So um, the main thing here is we want to not pick up on other people's energy and so what's interesting is when we start to do psychic work and when we get into the healing world all we want to do is pick up on other people's energy but you know what you're always picking up on on people's energy and so what we want to do is be able to feel we 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 don't want to numb ourselves we don't want to uh cut our energy supply off and that's what will happen when when people have issues they end up blocking their energy centers, that sort of thing, because once they get in pain, you know, they've experienced trauma, or if they've been, um, you know, something negative happened to them, they'll start to block their energy off, because then it's, uh, I hate this person, or I, I'm not forgiving that person, and so what we're doing is we're, we're um, actually blocking ourselves. And so for some reason, this is coming up with energy cords and energy centers to recognize that we need to open up our chakras, we need to balance our chakras first and foremost, but we're also clearing out our energy field. So it's within ourselves and outside of ourselves. And so it's important to smudge, um, cleanse your energy. So the way you, we smudge, I even have a blog on smudging. That I know I still have. So um, it's something that we burn and say, please remove any negative energy within myself, around myself, including my environment, okay? So that's one way to clear out your energy field. Calling Reiki energy in is another great way we can clear out our energy field. So check out my VIP membership group. All of my training is in there for Reiki. Um, that's really great to feel empowered to be able to do that yourself. Um, so, you know, those are a couple different ways, but sometimes we'll call an Archangel Michael to cut cords. I also have a video on um, a quick cord cutting that you can receive from me, as well as uh, cord cutting with Archangel Michael meditation. So um, I will link in the comments in or like in the description here some of these videos that I am recommending because that can kind of get you on the track of understanding a bit more about this. So you do not need to be an empath in order to pick up on energy. We just want to be mindful that we're able to continue to feel, right? We're not numbing ourselves, but just being aware that we need to take care of our own energy. So cleansing your energy, opening up your chakras. Uh, we often will say ground yourself so that you are able to stay in your own energy a bit more. And again, just be more aware of when you're starting to feel heavy that maybe you need to cleanse your energy. And so often we will also work with dark dark stones, um, like any type of stone really can help you um, to feel more grounded so you're able to just, again, stay in your energy. Yes, we have shielding and protection tools, but in this video, this would be my number one video. Uh, that's all you need to know. All right, guys, take care and thanks for watching. Bye for now.